Today I'm going to show you how to set up text ad customization on AdSense and set up an experiment as well so you can A-B test and compare which color scheme performs best for your site. Customizing text ads is one of the ad op strategies that we would highly recommend for publishers in order to increase site or ad performance. So you can either blend with the look and feel of your site to make it native, or you can try contrasting colors so that your ad stand would stand out and users tend to pay attention to it and hopefully click on it. To get started, you go to add unit section under my ads and create an ad unit. In this example, we're choosing text and display ads. So we give it a name. Choose the ad size that you would like to run for your ad unit. So let's say we'll choose 728 by 90. For the ad type, we'll keep it at text and display ads. Now for the ad style, we're going to create a new one. So click on create ad style. And for this example, we're going to give it a name. Let's just call it training for now. You can replace this with your domain or your um, website name. Let's say this is the website we're trying to set up. So you try to check what are the colors being used by the site right now and we'll try to use the same color scheme. So in this strategy we're going to blend it with the look and feel of the site. Now I'm using a digital color meter right now to check the RGB values of this blue color right here. All right, so it's 3288148, if you notice that. So using a color converter from RGB to hex, we're going to say 3288148, right? So 3288148, you can just Google any tool online. So we grab this hex code right here, go back to AdSense and we want the title to be that color. There you go. If you want this URL to be to have the same color, you can also do the same here for the URL. So now for the text, we have to check the normal text colors uh, used by the site, especially on the content page. So still using the digital color meter, I'll go ahead and check what this is, or what color this is exactly. Okay, 34, 37, 41. Grab that, go back to your AdSense, and change it. And this is the color for that right there. For the border, you can also check the background color of the site. So basically, right now I see it's white, so we keep that as is. And then for the font family, we'll keep it optimal. Then you can just go ahead and save. All right, so every time there's a text ad that will serve for this ad unit, it's going to be, or it's going to follow this ad style right here. And you can go ahead and save and get code. Grab the code and implement it on your DFP or directly on your site. Now, what if you want to run an experiment? So you can go ahead and check on optimization and experiments. Then you can go ahead, click on add unit settings. Here you can give it a name. So let's say test training for now. And then choose the ad unit you would like to test. So let's say we're going to test or optimize or run an experiment on that ad unit we just created. Then what type of experiment are you going to run? In this example, we're going to do the text ad style. So this is currently the original ad style right here and we can customize a variation. Again, change the colors here. 
or select a pre-existing ad style. In that case, you are now able to tell, as soon as you get traffic, you can see which one is performing better and eventually choose a winner. All right, and then you can say automatically choose winner. AdSense can choose the winner automatically and apply the settings. If you turn this off, then you will have to manually check the results or the data for these two ad styles and decide for or which one should be the winner. And you can go ahead and say create. Now once you have that, this experiment will run for 90 days. Now this is where you can see the data for your original settings versus the variation. And then you also have the option to stop your experiment. Or you can click here to choose one of them as a winner. And AdSense will automatically apply that settings for you. Now the only difference with, between AdSense and AdExchange is that when it comes to AdSense, you really have to choose the ad style per ad unit when you create it. So since earlier you have already created the ad style, you don't have to repeat that every time you need to create a new ad unit. It will be part of the list right here. Okay. But if you're trying to do another custom style, then you can create an ad style again, like what we just did earlier. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tips. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks, we'll catch you next time.